Hello everyone. Welcome to our Controller Corners and thank you for joining us today. My name is Mansoor Lakhani and I'm a senior consultant at Corporate Renaissance Group. A few housekeeping items before we start our session. Today's presentation will be recorded and will be available on demand later this week on the Controller Corners webpage on the CR Group website. I encourage you to ask questions so please submit them in the GoToWebinar panel and I will do my best to get to them at the end of my presentation. This session counts for one hour towards your continued professional development and we will email certificates to all attendees this, this week. So let's talk about today's agenda. In this session, we will discuss what is a smart list how we can create export solution using a smart list. We will talk about difference between export solution versus normal smart list. Then we will talk about Power BI. We will discuss how you can download and install Power BI on your desktop. We will talk about different versions available for Power BI. We will create a dashboard using Power BI and a smart solution. And at the end, we will publish and share Power BI dashboard. So what is a smart list? A smart list is one of the favorite tool available within Microsoft Dynamics GP. A smart list provide a readily available and easy way to create ad hoc reports and queries. And we can also use a smart list to extract data from Dynamics GP to Microsoft Excel. Power BI. Power BI is a business analytical services provided by Microsoft. It provides interactive visualization. An end user can create reports and dashboard without having to depend on information technology staff or database administrator. Now, how you can download or from where you can download the Power BI desktop version. If you want to download Power BI desktop version, you can go to powerbi.microsoft.com and you will get a download here link and you can download your desktop version from uh, the Power BI uh, website. There are, two version, there are two versions of Power BI available. One is called Power BI Free and one is called Power BI Pro. Uh, there is not much difference between free and pro uh, if you are using free version, the only thing you cannot do is you cannot uh, subscribe using the email. Uh, you cannot refresh data automatically, uh, but the exercise we are doing today, uh, you can download the free version and you can do your exercise using the free version. Uh, for this demo purpose, I will be using uh, Dynamics GP 2015, uh, but you can use any version of Dynamics GP uh, to create the export solution and uh, create the dashboards uh, as well. So let's go to uh, demo server and uh, create some um, smart list and then use those smart lists to create uh, the dashboards. So I'm just going to my server. So right now I am GP 2015. As a step number one, we will create a smart list. So I'm going to Microsoft Dynamics GP. I'm going to a smart list option and that option will give me different folders. And I can see my folders based on different modules like I have financial module, fixed asset module, uh, sales module, purchasing module. Uh, for this exercise, I will be using sales module so I'm going to my sales folder and from the sales folder, I'm going to the customer folder and that customer uh, list will give me all the customer uh, available in my company. So what I'm doing here is I'm just removing some columns and adding some uh, columns which I want to use in my dashboard. So I click on the columns, uh, the columns I don't want to use. I'm just selecting those columns one by one uh, so I want to use customer number. I want to use customer name. City is fine. I want to use a state. I don't want to use uh, zip. I don't want to use phone and node. However, 
I want to add a customer class so I can use customer class in my dashboard. So I'm just going and selecting uh, a customer class. I also want to use customer balance so I can see customer outstanding balance and I want to see uh, customer uh, credit limit so I can see whether my customer is over or under uh, the credit limit. So I'm selecting the credit limit amount. Uh, I'm just moving uh, some columns up and down. So my first column is customer class, then I have customer number, customer name, then I have city, state, customer balance, and then I have credit limit. It looks good. I hit OK and I get my uh, complete customer list with all the information I selected uh, at the column mode. So the next step is I want to save this customer list. So I go to favorite and I, I just want to name it. Let's say it's a customer balance dashboard. And I go add and I go add and favorite. And now this customer balance dashboard favorite is available in my smart list option and I can go and I can run those smart list anytime uh, I want to see my customer balance. Uh, I can just go here and click the smart list. Now the beauty of this favorite is as soon as I create a new customer or as soon as I uh, enter new sales invoice system will automatically update uh, that is smart list and that's normal. We all know that how to go and how to use the smart list. Now the problem with this is smart list every time when we click Excel it exports data to Excel and we know that but the problem is every time when we export to Excel it creates a new Excel file which is not good which is not good for our Power BI. So we need some kind of a mechanism which allow you to update the same file every time when I click export to Excel instead of creating a different file every time. So we need some kind of a mechanism to do that. So step number one, uh, we did that smart list and we saved that favorite as a normal smart list favorite. That's fine. That's my step number one. Step number two, what I'm doing here is I'm opening up the Excel file. It's a blank Excel file and I'm saving this Excel file without doing anything. I just go to file. I go save as and the trick here is when I go save as I'm going to save to this PC and I'm using uh, uh, I'm using uh, from C drive. Let's go to Power BI demo and let's save this file as a customer balance dashboard. Now the trick here is uh, when I when I select save uh, option, I go to save as and I select Excel macro enable workbook. So now we have customer balance dash dashboard Excel file which I'm saving as Excel macro enable workbook. I didn't do anything. I just open up the Excel file and I save as a macro enable Excel file. I close that Excel file. Going back to my going back to my uh, favorite here. So I go to customer and I click on my favorite, which is the customer balance dashboard. Now in the smart list, I'm going to a smart list option and I'm hitting the export solution option. So I click here and it's a new solution I want to create. Uh, I want to name it again uh, customer balance dashboard and the document I want to attach with this export solution is the same document we just saved as an Excel file and, and remember that Excel file is kind of a blank Excel file. We didn't do anything. We just open up the Excel and we saved uh, uh, with this name. So I select that file. Now I can also create macro and I can if I want to run macro, I can also go and I can uh, uh, enter the name of the macro which I want to run. But for this exercise purpose, we are not creating any macro. So we just select the name 
and this should be visible to everyone and the application I want to use is Excel and the smart list which I want to attach with this document is available under customer folder and that's the smart list which I want to attach with this document. So what, I've, what I'm saying here is whenever I use a smart list and whenever I use the uh, export to Excel function, instead of creating a new file, just use this file and update this file. So same file we are updating over and over instead of creating new file each and every time. So I hit save here. Then I close that. I'm going back to my favorite. And this time, this is my favorite and I can go and I can click Excel, but I'm not doing that. You can see this Excel is allowing me to go in and select the file. So I, I select the Excel and I'm selecting this file, this file. So what's happening system, my Dynamics GPA is extracting all the information and updating the Excel file, which we just created. And this is my Excel file. Okay, so that's step number two. Create a micro enable Excel file and attach your Excel file uh, with your smart list using the export solution. So I have that Excel file. I close that Excel file. So this is step number two. Step number three, from the desktop, I can uh, double click on the desk, uh, Power BI desktop and I can open up the Power BI desktop application. But for example, if you want to see, oh, you know what, uh, can you please show us how to download the Power BI uh, desktop version? So you can go to Power BI dot uh, Microsoft dot com and then uh, you can see uh, start free here and this will also allow you to download the desktop version. So this is how you can go and you can download the desktop version of Power BI. So download free, you just click download. It will download, uh, it will download the application and at the end of the download, you will see uh, this icon, which you can use to create your dashboard. So step number one, we did the smart list, the normal smart list. Step number two, we create an Excel file with macro enable functionality. Then we used uh, export solution within Dynamics GP. We attached our Excel file with the export solution. And when we extract data using the smart list, we saw that option that you know what, you want to extract data as a normal Excel file or you want to update your macro enabled or export solution file and we selected that file. And when we extract data, uh, my Dynamics GP updated my Excel file. So that's kind of a step one and step two. Step number three, I'm going to Power BI Desktop. And then I'm going to get data and I want to read my data from the Excel file and I'm using the same Excel file, which is basically connected to my uh, smart list export. So I'm using the same uh, Excel file and I'm connecting that Excel file with my Power BI dashboard. In that Excel file, I have only one sheet. I selected that sheet and you can see that system is now showing me all the data which is coming from uh, my uh, export solution using the smart list. So first thing I want to do is I want to create a grid here. So I select my grid option. Uh, I just. And uh, I'm selecting different options, different fields here. For example, I want to see uh, customer class. I want to see customer number. I want to see customer uh, name. I want to see uh, credit limit and I want to see customer balance. Okay, uh, you can go and you can uh, use different options to change the font, uh, to change the uh, table style. For example, I want to see uh, flash hero and then uh, in the values, uh, I just want to go and I want to increase 
the uh, size of the well, like the font size. And then again, I select my data grid here. I want to border on uh, column headers. I can increase the column headers and so on. Okay, so this is my first visualization, which is showing me my customer class, my customer number, my customer name, a credit limit, and my customer balance. Then I want to use another uh, visual, which is map. And in this map, what I want to see, I want to see my outstanding balance either by city or either by state. So let's say if I go state and if I select uh, the uh, customer balance. So you can see here my map is showing me uh, customer balance by state. Okay. So that's my uh, another visualization which we call map. Uh, I can go here and I can do again my border is on and so on. So that's my other visualization. Then I want to see my outstanding balance by customer class. So for that, I'm using a graph. So let's say this is the graph I want to use. And in this graph, I want to see my uh, customer outstanding balance by customer class. So I'm selecting customer class and then I'm selecting my customer balance. So it's showing me uh, customer balance by class. So that's my graph, let's do that. Uh, let's maximize that. And then again, uh, I can go and I can create, uh, I can switch on borders and everything. I want to see the same uh, graph instead of uh, bar graph, I want to see pi, so this time, and that's the last visualization I'm doing here. I select the pie and then again, uh, I'm selecting my customer class and my customer uh, balance and that will show me uh, my balance by customer class. Okay, and then I can go and I can use different options here like if I want to change the uh, font or if I want to uh, uh, see the uh, le legends and whatnot, I can go and I can do that. So just one thing, let me do it here. I switch on the border. Uh, then the last thing, uh, I'm going to uh, cart here and here I want to show uh, the total number of customer we have in system. So what I'm doing here is just go and show me total of uh, customer number and I select the customer number, but it's not showing total. So what I'm doing here is I go and I'm seeing I'm saying here is instead of showing the first customer number, show me the count of all my customers. So in total, we have 109 customer uh, in in the demo version of Dynamics GP. Yeah. And then I can uh, I can go and insert the text box and I can type here. Uh, customer balance dashboard. Uh, I can change the font size and so on. I can add my company logo. Uh, I can do all the fancy stuff here. Uh, let's uh, go 28, so sorry. Select. <laughs> Let's do that. Customer balance, and you can do bold and everything. You can change the font color, and you can make it center as well. Okay, so now we do have the dashboard available. So what I'm doing here is I go file, I go save as, because I want to save my dashboard, and I want to save my dashboard with the name of, let's say, uh, customer balance dashboard. 
I hit save. So now I have this dashboard uh, available here. So let's go back to GP and you can see here in total we have 109 customers. So I'm going back to my GP and I want to create a new customer here and I want to see how how it will update my Power BI dashboard. So I'm going here cards. I'm going to uh, sales. I'm going to customer. Customer ID, let's say uh, demo two. Uh, customer name, demo two. Uh, address primary uh, one seven zero. Uh, Solera city is Ottawa province, Ontario. Uh, class ID, let's say service and I hit save. I close that. I'm going to my smart list. I refresh my smart list. So now here you can see we have 110 customers, right? So now I want to export that smart list, but remember, I don't want to use the normal export because as soon as I click normal export, as soon as I click Excel, it will use the normal export functionality and it will create another file Excel Excel file for me, which I don't which I don't need. I need the same Excel file. So what I can do here and because this is smart list is attached to my export solution, what I can do here is I can select my file and it will update my file. It will extract all the data and update my same Excel file. So this is my same Excel file and uh, I will have that demo two here, which I can see. I just close that file, close that file. And then I go back to my dashboard and I just hit refresh. And as soon as I hit refresh, you will see that now I have 110 customer in my dashboard. And uh, at the same time, if we are creating new transactions, if we are creating new invoices or receiving the cash and if we are updating uh, the customer balance and the credit limit and whatnot, your dashboard will automatically update all the information as soon as you hit refresh. So the trick is instead of using normal Excel file, use export solution and extract your data using export solution within uh, smart list. So that part is done. You can create multiple smart lists using the export solution, which can extract data into multiple Excel file. You can pull data from your Excel file, which is connect to your smart list as well as connect to your Power BI dashboard. And you can create a uh, different dashboard using some fancy tools or fancy gadgets here. Uh, now, once everything is done, the next step is, okay, you know what? Everything is done. Now I want to share this dashboard with my colleagues, uh, with my management. How can I do that? You see this publish button. Once your dashboard is done, you hit publish. Do you want to save uh, this dashboard? You hit save and this will publish your dashboard to uh, the website like it's going to uh, my workspace and the name of the dashboard is customer balance dashboard. Uh, so my publish is done. And, and that's it. So that's how we can publish the dashboard. So what will happen if we insert a new data in Dynamics GP? You insert new data in Dynamics. Let's go back to the Dynamics GP. You insert new data in Dynamics GP. That's fine. Once you are ready to publish your dashboard, go to a smart list. Use your smart list favorite, uh, which we just created. And in our case, uh, that was a customer balance dashboard. So click on your favorite. You will see all data here. Instead of using Excel, just go and use the export solution. Just click your file. It will update your file. And once your file is update, so that's my file, it's up to date. Just close that file and then go to Power BI. Just click one button, refresh. 
it will refresh your dashboard and the second button you will be clicking is publish it will publish your dashboard on cloud so your users can go to power bi website and use that dashboard so yeah you want to replace yes i want to replace and and it's replacing my dashboard now the beauty of this dashboard is you have filters available everywhere so let's say if you want to see only that class you just double click on that class and based on that class system will update uh, your dashboard will update all the data automatically so i just selected one class and you can see system is filtering all the data my pie, pie graph my map graph my data grid based on this class and so on i can i can just go uh, and 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 filter my data on any uh, on any field any graph if i want to filter based on my pie graph i just select my pie here and now you can see system is filtering data my my power bi is filtering data so i can go and i can do that uh, i can sort my grid so right now this sort is by uh, customer balance you can see a little arrow here ascending descending uh, we can go and we can also uh, sort by customer class customer number customer name and if you want to see whether your customer is over or under credit limit we can also create a new columns with the if conditions so for example i click on the new column and i'm i'm saying it this column is over under so i'm saying over under equals to if uh, sheet one dot customer balance is greater than uh, sheet one dot uh, credit limit then it's over else is under so i can create that column within power bi now this column is available and if i with this grid so i select the grid and i just select this column over and under so now it's showing me whether my uh, customer is over the credit limit or under the credit limit and again i can sort on this column as well so you can see all my all my uh, all my customer uh, over the credit limit so that's what i wanted to show you today uh, how you can use a smart list uh, export solution and create a dashboard by connecting uh, the same file with smart list as well as with uh, power bi uh, and 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 generate uh, different dashboards uh, uh, if you have any question you can write your question in the panel and uh, i will try my best to answer those questions can you use multiple reports in one dashboard? Okay, so the question is, can we use multiple reports in one dashboard? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, we can use a multiple Excel files, multiple sheets. Uh, if we have multiple sheets within the same Excel file, or if we have multiple Excel file, we can do that. Not only that, if you are exporting uh, your data using the smart list from Dynamics GP, and at the same time, you want to pull data from any third party application. For example, you are running CRM or other application and you have the database uh, access. You can also do that. So you can extract data from GP as well as you can pull data from your database. Uh, in Power BI, we have more than 35 connectors available. Let me go back to the Power BI quickly here. So when I go get data, you can see uh, uh, different connectors here, right? Uh, you can pull data from Excel, you can pull data from uh, SharePoint, Access database, IBM database, SQL database, Azure, uh, uh, Salesforce, Google Analytics. Uh, it's, it's a lot. So answer to your question, yes, we can do that. 
So I have another question, a live link to an account balance from GP. Uh, a live link to account balance, uh, we, are you talking about GL account balance or from, okay. So is there any way we can connect uh, GP data direct to uh, Power BI? I think that's the question. So the answer is yes. Uh, in that case, uh, we will be using uh, it's it's kind of a, a little bit technical, but we will be using views. So if you have views available in SQL, which can allow you to pull the data from the views, uh, we can go and we can connect SQL Server. Basically, we can connect GP directly uh, to dashboard and pull all the GL accounts. So your GL balances, maybe your GL budget, and then we can calculate variances over budget and whatnot. So answer to your question is yes, it is it, it is doable. Okay, so I think I think we are good here. Uh, still, if you have any question, you know how to reach us. Uh, again, thank you so much for your time, and we will see you again in our next controller corners. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.